Hey y'all, look what I got. So can we say a miracle in a roll-on? Can you believe a roll-on castor oil? So shouts out to Mama T. And um, she had her castor oil video, which reminded me that I've been wanting to get some. So shouts out to Mama T. Go check her out. Her channel is amazing. Um, I wasn't able to get the one Mama T was talking about. That one is around $30. This one is, I'm going to get that one. I still want to get that one. This one is $7.99 on Amazon, y'all. So this is the Heritage Store. So take a look there. And I, I was really interested because of the price, especially. But because it's a roll-on, y'all. And let me tell y'all. So a couple of weeks ago, Tabitha Brown. Everybody know Tabitha Brown. She was talking about, um, it was late at night when I was on there. I think she was posting, I think she actually posted that at that time. But she was saying, is anybody up itching, right? So we're in our 40s. I'm 47. I think she's, she might be a little bit younger than me. But she said, her doctor said it was a symptom of perimenopause, y'all. And I'm telling everybody, I'm telling my mom, I'm telling my kids, I just can't use, I can't even use ivory soap anymore. Um, I had to stop using perfume years ago. Um, anything scented, I cannot use. I had to use baby um, detergent, and now I'm just using unscented. But it's this, this terrible itch, just itching, like, everywhere. Like, um, and it's worse at night. So... What's really been attacking me is the cleavage. I've been scratching so hard that I've been drawing blood. It's that bad, y'all. And it's like no creams or anything is working, y'all, except this. Castor oil has many, many, many benefits. It's helping with the itch, y'all. Perimenopause. Now, who knew that was a symptom? So, you sitting here thinking you're crazy, and, you know, I am slightly crazy. But you're not really crazy because it's a symptom, y'all. And it made me feel a lot better because I'm like, I'm scratching my skin. Like, I need to wear the mittens for the babies, you know? And I'm like, you know, no matter how short my nails are, I, it's just an uh, insatiable, is that the word? Insatiable, like, itch. Like, worse than chicken pox itch. I don't know. They say this a drop in the estrogen. So, anywho, I'm going to go over to the computer to read a little bit more about cast oil. So, look, y'all. All right. I already said this is good for the itch, right? Um, and look. So, it's a roll-on. I don't know if you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can probably see that. It's a, um, it has no scent. And look at that, y'all. It's nice and, it's nice and thick, y'all. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good. And for $7.99, and I can imagine, you know, you get the castor oil out the bottle, how you have to control how runny it is and all that stuff. But look at that, y'all. Just a, you know, simple roll on. And like I said, $7.99. And I, trust me, I'm not, um, they're not paying me to promote this or anything. I just wanted to, I'd like to review things, mostly food, y'all. But I like to review things that is helpful to me and exciting to me and that interests me so anything that interests me 
I will share it with y'all. All right, so I hope y'all can see me okay. I switched to read on the computer, y'all. So, of course, uh, most people know that castor oil is for laxatives. My mom said my grandma used to have them lined up and giving them castor oil every day. And that's probably why they were so much healthier back then. I mean, you really think about it, y'all. Um, moisturized skin. Clean dentures. Induced labor. Who knew about that? Um, now, pain. So pain is a new benefit. So, and we're going to have to, I'm going to have to do my, my research on that, especially with this one here. Like I said, I mainly itch. Itch is like my main problem right now. So this is working for the itch. Okay, so I'm, I'm having a little, uh, you know, thumb. It's, I forgot what you call this, y'all. This pain here. Not carpal tunnel, as I had that before, but um, is it tendonitis? I don't know. Y'all tell me. But um, and then I have the bottom of my foot, plantar fasciitis. I don't think it's a bone spur. It's like when you stay on your feet a long time. So I really want to. Um, so I'm gonna definitely check on that. But like I said, I had to. The main problem I had to solve that first was the itch. And let me tell you, no hydrocortisone. I don't even use Balmex. Um, prescription hydrocortisone, nothing works for this itch, y'all. I, I don't know. If, it can't be a mental thing because Tabitha Brown and all the women under her comment section said, I've been wondering what was going on. Just scratch it, just scratch it. So anyway, this helps, y'all. This helps. But when I get some more money i'm gonna get that 30 dollar bottle mama t was talking about it was uh queen of thrones golden castor oil and she had um go to her video and check it out but she had you know these packs castor oil packs where you pack it on your liver area and they sell them as kits as well and of course amazon has everything but yeah i was looking for a smaller bottle but this bottle, I was like, $30. But if it works, y'all. So, I'm going to swipe Queen of Thrones. And um, so, now this one that I got, got five stars as well. So, Queen of Thrones is getting five stars as well, y'all. So they're selling the kit on Amazon with the Queen of Thrones for $71.47. And the kit is has the um the wrap that you wrap under your your breast area. Your, um, it's gotta be on your liver. This side. I think it's this side, y'all. Um, but the castor oil itself is $30. And um it seems like everybody is loving it. I'm on the Amazon site right now. The Queen of Thrones Golden is organic golden cast oil. And it's $30.63. And it's got 4.7 stars. And then this one is um, the Roll-On Heritage Store. I used to be able to type without looking. I still can a little bit. Um, but my son, he just takes over my the computer. I really don't need to be on a desktop too much anymore. Okay, so this one got 4.6 stars, y'all. And it's vegan and cruelty-free, cold-pressed. And it's, like I said, the main turn off for this is the easy application. And they're telling you um, to use a heating pad with this as well. Of course, talk to your doctor about this stuff. I'm not no doctor. I'm nowhere near a healthcare provider. But I'm just, 
like to share what works. But um, dry patches of skin, um, you know, castor oil is good for your hair. I don't know how good the roll-on version will work for your hair. It probably wouldn't work that well. But um, everybody, you know, it's a skin savior in a roll-on bottle, y'all. Like I said, and, you know, wrinkles, wrinkles, um, acne scars. It's like, you know, nameless. And your people say they like it because it keeps their hands clean, and it does. Because if you roll it, you can just do this. But if, of course, if you're rolling it on your belly, you know you gotta touch it. But it's not like I said; it's not, it's not that greasy, y'all. And people are saying it's so much easier to use the roll-on to do a liver pack. Miracle oil, and that's what the lady say. She said, my skin has been angry. Yes. That's my word, too. Angry and miserable. Just This lady was talking about, she said she had lizard skin on her face. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to get a little bit of that, too. But I haven't tried it on my face yet because, like I said, this here, I wish I could show y'all, but I wouldn't do that anyway. But it's, it's, it's like, it's. Like, I had got it to the point where it was healed up. I said, oh, the itching has gone away. And um, I, it was so bad. It was all scabbed up. I said, if I ever had a man again, I wouldn't want to show him that. But anyway, so I had got it. It was scarred up, y'all. And so now um, I got it back to, <laughs> to being almost healed up again. So like I said, Good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Um, and it feels like it's real heavy, y'all. Like, it's got a good amount in here. So, I'm going to say it's going to last a long time because I am heavy-handed. So, if I am to get the one, I, like I said, I am going to get the one in the bottle. But I have to be very um, cautious because I am heavy-handed. So, I will pour I will pour too much. I already know it. Um the one that Mama T had, the Queen of Thrones, and said, you know, it's food grade, but they do not recommend you ingesting it. So, um, one lady said uh, she put it on her eyes. She said she put it in her eyes. I would not recommend that. I would not. Uh, don't mess with your eyes, y'all. Don't play about your eyes. But I guess she's saying it's so healthy and natural that it could go in your eyes. But no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. But yeah, y'all. Um, this is good. Like, what is this? Three ounces. I don't think they have a bigger size of this. But um, I will welcome you to check it out. Okay, so they do have this version in a bottle as well. 16 ounces. Okay, so yeah, y'all love stuff like this. Um those of y'all that didn't know, um, I have my cosmetology license for about 27 years and beauty products, anything of beauty, um, grab my interest as well as food. So you wouldn't know that I have a, some hair stuff on this channel too. Everything's on this channel, y'all. I just can't settle down to one niche, but it seemed like food is the particular niche that is popping out on my channel. But, yeah, y'all. So, they're saying, you know, hair growth for your lashes. You know, your eyebrows to make them look fuller. It's just so many. It's like it's endless benefits, y'all. And they're telling you also... You could soak a flannel cloth with the oil and apply it to abdomen, joints, and other areas as a wellness pack. The joints, yeah. So I actually got my parents a bottle of this as well. And like I said, um, when the funds are better, I'm going to get a bottle of that Queen of Thrones. And then my parents are going to get a bottle of the Queen of Thrones because... Mama T promoted that, y'all. 
because she said she had that sciatica and it helped her so much y'all so I just wanted to come through and show you guys that it comes in a roll on so I love convenience anything of convenience I love it y'all so what are some benefits that I didn't mention and I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And especially the perimenopause, y'all. Who knew that all that itching, 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 itching is from uh, uh, your estrogen getting low? What other symptoms? I wish um, a lot of the people my age and older will say what these symptoms are because nobody talks about things like this and we don't know it's just like you're uh going through puberty again and you know you just don't know so it's like all the older ladies out there if you're watching this what are symptoms of perimenopause menopause because the menopause the uh common one we all know is sweating oh not sweating hot flashes hot flashes y'all and I've seen ladies, hot flashes, they just break out in a sweat all of a sudden. And from their head to their toes, they say. And I've always been scared of that. Of course, the doctor says I have about four more. 51, I think is the age, bro. This itching. Some, thank you, Tabitha Brown, for bringing awareness to the perimenopause itching. Because I really thought I was losing it really bad. I, I thought I was losing my mind, y'all. It itching. It, but anyway, grab you some of this. Like I said, well, if you're not sure if you're allergic to this stuff, talk to your doctor first, all that. But this is good, y'all. It's good for itching. And everything else, apparently. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I will see y'all next time. Bye.